So I just woke up this morning. It's about 25 degrees outside. It's about to start snowing. Thought it's a perfect time to tell you guys about my biggest mistake in my first year of farming. So I just came to check on Miss Gia and she is hanging out with the chickies. I walked around the corner and there was about a dozen chickens surrounding her. She likes to play while they eat. Alright, we're gonna do our morning egg check. We've got a hen in the nesting box again today. Bad timing. I'm gonna try to pull this one out anyway. One. Two. Three. Four. Leave her alone. All right, so I've got some cardboard and shredded up paper that I want to add on to our worm farm. But I also wanted to tell you guys about what I believe is my biggest mistake my first year farming but to do that I'm gonna have to start back earlier this spring we decided to get a few piglets because we eat a lot of bacon a lot of sausage so we went to a local farmer and we picked up three baby piglets we brought them home we set up an area for them. The kids loved them. We fed them every day. They had a blast with them. Here's even a picture of Corden with one. And then they started getting bigger and getting bigger. And time went on. We realized, man, we got to figure out where we're going to go with these hogs. And where we're going to get them butchered at. So we called the local butcher. And he said he's got openings for October the end of October which was going to be perfect for us the only problem was he could only take two and we had three hogs so we go ahead we went ahead and made the appointments for the two but we were left with this one pig that we had no idea where we were going to go with so we started calling all the butcher shops around nobody could get a pig in until April so now here in the middle of December, we are stuck with one pig. We're enjoying the bacon, we're enjoying the sausage from the two that we harvested in October, but we still do have one hog with us. And with snow coming today, he's torn apart his shelter. So today we're gonna be fixing up his shelter and we're gonna introduce to you our hog. One of the biggest issues with having a full grown pig in the winter is how much food they'll eat and water they will drink in a day. All right, everyone, meet Rock.
We've had him for I think about eight months now. He's up well over 250 pounds. He dumps his water bowl every day. This water trough. This is his shelter right now. He's tore it apart. It was put together. We're supposed to get some snow coming today, so we're gonna go ahead and try to get this back together for him before the bad weather hits. As I was getting the camera set up, it just started to snow. It's starting to come down, so we're gonna have to hurry up and try to get this done. So it started to snow a lot harder out there. I decided that I just needed to get it done. I had the drill out there. I had my camera out there. I needed to get it done quickly and get back inside. So I did the best I could and he'll be warm for tonight. And then we'll have to take a look at it another day. But let's check out outside. What? I, it's really snowing outside. What did you say? What's it doing out there, Gia? Snowing. Snowing. I see ice. I see ice. What? We've got Mom making some delicious pancakes for us this morning. I'm about to get the bacon ready. We're gonna have us a nice brunch. So all in all, I guess the lesson, the biggest lesson that I learned in my first year of farming has been that as soon as I purchase an animal, I need to schedule the butcher date right away. This pig is gonna be miserable up here all winter long. I didn't expect to have one pig left. I don't like keeping single animals of anything. So I, he needs a buddy, he needs someone in there with him. Unfortunately, it's not going to happen this winter. He's not going to go in until April. Um, most of the weight he gains now is going to be pure fatty weight. Uh, he's not going to be gaining very much productive weight through the winter. So um, my, the biggest lesson I learned in my first year farming is to schedule their butcher date as soon as you by the animal. What is it, Gia? Snow. The snow. Like the snow. You like the snow. You like the snow. We just came out to do afternoon chores, and Corden beat us out here. He's already got his chickens watered. He needs a little help getting the feed. What's that big thing in there, Corbin? That's an apple. Ooh, you 
give him an apple for a tree? Yeah. Awesome. Great job, Gordon. Okay, let's go inside, Gia. No, Three eggs are Neil. Three eggs are Neil. Three today? Yeah. Take them out and show us. It's extremely cold and windy out here, and I just came out and seen that everybody's enjoying this greenhouse. <laughs> no, no wind in here, no snow. They're all enjoying themselves. All right, let's go ahead and check on the eggs. No one's in the boxes this time. Nothing in the box. I need to bring some straw bags. Nothing in box two. So we are about to get cleaned up for jujitsu, and I got a message saying they're canceling classes tonight. They're afraid the roads are going to ice over. So let's go ahead and walk back to Kristen's office and check out what she's got going on. Hey babe, what you got going on in here? Oh, uh, just packaging orders. This looks like a lot. That's a mess. My goodness. Now, are these all the orders you have ready to go? Uh, yeah, they just need labels on them. This entire box filled, ready to ship out. And that's what you're doing over there, printing labels and packaging orders? Uh, these are just packaging slips, and then I do all the labels at once after I weigh them all. Nice. Do you want to show us a couple of your favorite outfits, your favorite items? Alright, this is one of the new items she's been working on, getting ready for her Valentine's Day drop. It's a heart top romper. So I'll leave a link in the description. You guys can visit her website and check out more of her products. Well guys, it's been a pretty exciting day with the snow starting to fall. We're going to go ahead and wrap up today's vlog. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.